Sagittarius. How you doing? Going to get into your read here. This is going to be for January 2023. So Happy New Year to all of you guys. And I am um, recording this before the New Year's, but let's see what is going on. What is coming up here for Sag? What messages do we have here for Sagittarius in January 2023 here? Let's see what's going on. And these are general readings, so take what resonates. Leave the rest out here. First card coming out is the Eight of Wands. This is Sagittarius energy here. So, um, and again, we are in Mercury retrograde. We're gonna, I'm gonna see what this is all about. Eight of Wands typically can be about communication. This could be messages coming towards you. And it's also about changes, right? So something fast, it's a very fast energy here. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's crossing you in the month of January. What is crossing Sagittarius here? We have the moon. Pisces and Cancer energy. Now the moon is all about, you know, could be dreams, could be deep thinking, could be emotions coming up to the surface again, could be something coming back around. All right, so flip the energies if you need to, but we're gonna see how this uh, how this goes. It kind of feels like just by looking at these two cards, it could be that you've been very focused on changes right now, Sag. Um, you know, it doesn't feel like you're thinking of anyone from the past. I mean, maybe there is lingering energy there. Um, but it, it's more focused on yourself here and what you want and what's what's going to, you know, the energy and time you put into something. Um, and maybe you're, you're in deep thought. Maybe you're dreaming, trying to get downloads here, right? So it could be that going on as well. Let me see the recent past here. Recent past here for Sagittarius. We have death. Scorpio energy here. So recent past, I mean, you know, it's 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 an energy of transformation. I mean, this this feels as though you're really focused on yourself so far. Um, and we're going to see your focus area really soon. But, you know, it feels like you're working on yourself. You, you're doing changes that are necessary. You could be ending certain things, cycles, um, and it could be any part of your life here, right? So, um, you know, in regards to people around you, to um, things that you've been doing, um, whatever it is here, it feels like you've been just transforming into a new version of yourself. And I remember one of the readings I had for Sag, uh, it was like a new version of you. I don't know if it was the last reading or the one before that, but, you know, with death being over here, it's ending old cycles and starting a new version of yourself here still. But there's still a sense of like, you know, what direction do I move towards? You know, what what does my future look like? You know, um, there's a sense of like holding back your energy and taking a look at it. You, your eight of wands is a very fast. Let's make changes. But with this crossing with the moon, it's like, OK, let's think about this before we start making some some big moves here. All right. So let's see your focus area here for Sagittarius. The Ten of Wands. So you are ready to move away, basically. Now, it doesn't mean you physically have to move. Um, but it is an energy of uh, moving away from past things here. Tens are endings. Um, you can see in here she's got the bags packed and everything, and she's moving forward, okay? So it feels like you're focused on moving in a different direction. Um, you know, like I said, some of you guys are still trying to figure out, you know, what really fits for you. Um, I do see the hangman Pisces energy as well. So there's a lot of thought going on right now. And again, you know, typically during the the uh, end of the year uh, it doesn't matter the zodiac just we just reflect on the past what we've learned um, we want to create new plans into the new year um, but it feels like it's not just throwing ideas throwing plans out there there's stuff here that you are really trying to accomplish you know um, if you if you say this is what i want to accomplish in this month's time it's like you're, you're really trying to make some sort of plan here. It just feels like you're, you want to be by yourself and you're trying to figure things out. So it's not a negative energy or anything. It's, a, it's just a really big change coming in for you. Your possibilities here is the King of Wands, all right? So, and I hope the uh, there's no glare here. Let me take a quick peek. Okay, retrograde. You never know what's going to happen. All right, so... King of Wands energy. This is you here, Sagittarius. Um, it's also Leo and Aries energy here too, but you know, in the possibilities stage here, you know, again, working through things, also looking into the future. Now, the King of Wands is a very um, a go-getter type of energy, right? You've heard me say entrepreneur, you heard me say visionary. Um, it just feels like you're going to step in or have stepped in an energy of just taking charge of your life here, making your decisions and doing what you want to do. Um, Again, with the moon being over there, there's a sense of 
well, if I move in this direction, will I succeed? You know, there's a little bit of worry. There's a little bit of doubt. There's a little bit of like, what if I fail, right? So we have the four swords underneath here. There's a sense of, again, it's like movement forward. And it's like, okay, wait a second. It's, it's, it's a good energy because you're checking yourself as you're moving forward. A lot of decisions here is like... Um, you're not really bouncing too much with everyone. You're doing this by yourself, which is good. It's, it's a good energy to get into here, all right? Near future here, we do have Judgment. It is a card of awakening here for you too, Sag. So I feel like you are, and the moon being over here too, there's there's um, energy here about you. I mean, for some of you guys, you could just be coming into the truth of what you want and, like I said, ending old cycles here. There's, there's, there's uh, whoever I'm connecting with, I know that, you know, it is retrograde and, and, you know, sometimes a lot of the readings come in as, you know, the past and this and that and, and all that stuff. But the Sagittarius that I'm connecting with here, it kind of feels like you guys are doing anything possible to to not get into that trap, into that, that rabbit hole again, you know. Um, it doesn't have to be relationships. It could just be past situations here, okay. So you guys are... I can feel like there's an energy here of just saying, you know what, this, I want new. I want new things to come towards me, new connections here. And, uh, you know, I think I said this in one of the Leo videos. See the King of Wands there, you know, there's like no turning back. Maybe you do have Leo in your chart, but it's like you've made it this far here, okay? Let's see what's in your power here, Sag, for the month of January. We have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. A lot of energy of moving forward here, okay? I do see the Seven of Swords. Now, when I see a spread like this and I see the Seven of Swords here, you know, typically we look at the Seven of Swords as being a very sneaky, trickery, you know, lying, cheating, stealing type of card. But it's also about moving in silence here. You can see it's underneath the moon. It's a very, and you have the moon over here, right? So it's a very um, slow movement forward, but you're not telling everyone your plans. You're keeping everything to yourself here. Now, we do have that full moon in Cancer coming up um, in the early parts of January, January 6th, I believe. So... Again, things could resurface for you. You could have a uh, a different viewpoint of how you want to approach certain things. So I feel like maybe that's why there's a little bit of um, uh, drawing back your energy because you need to see a little bit more clear what's what's coming up here for you before you make a solid decision here. Okay, so um, you know, just picking up that energy of like not rushing into things right now. You're taking your time. It's like you know, even you know, Sagittarius doesn't matter where in your chart. It just you know, it's an energy of like, once you set your eyes on a target, you know, again, Sagittarius has the bow and arrow. Uh, once you let the arrow fly, it, it's, it's, it's a direct shot, right? So it's, it's um, before letting that arrow fly, though, there's a little bit of work that you're doing here. Um, but I feel like it's, again, focused on yourself here. Um, in your power, though, the Knight of Swords is a fast energy. Eight of Wands, very fast energy. So it feels like internally in your mind, you want things to just pop, you know, just start going, right? But um, there's something holding you back. Maybe you feel, you might even feel a little bit like, um, you know, something's feeling restricted or you don't feel like you have the energy in some sorts. Um, but I feel like that's going to change here, okay? We have the Four of Cups in your environment here. Now, the Four of Cups, Four of Cups, see, can't even talk. Four of Cups. Um, you can see that she's she's looking at the three cups here, right? Let me pull this card this way. So she's looking at the three cups, right? In your environment, though, I feel like you you are seeing this new opportunity for yourself because it's the Ace of Cups that the universe is trying to give to you. And I feel like you start to realize that that Ace of Cups is you. Now, just because you're loving yourself, taking care of you, and focused on yourself, what that does, it brings more opportunity to you, okay? So Ace of Cups underneath here as well. So I feel like, Sag, in the month of January, that you're going to have more opportunity coming your way. This could be in regards to finances. This could be in regards to new connections. But there's more opportunities that is coming for you. The only question is, you know, judgment being over here, you know, what do you really want? You know, do you want to, you know, you might have people coming towards you that they're very interested. They see you as this king of wands as a matter of the gender. But they see you in this very powerful type of energy, really taking care of yourself and moving forward, and you're going to attract people towards you, right? So, you know, it's like, do you want to get into a relationship? You have to make that decision. This is why the moon is your challenge. It's like, what, where do you want to be right now? Um, because sometimes when you start focusing on things and things start going well for you career-wise too, 
you know, and then all of a sudden you get sidetracked with someone that wants to come in and start a relationship. So it's like also establishing a sense of like um, boundaries in some sort of way here too, even though we don't see the nine of wands, but that's kind of the energy I'm picking up. Let me see the hopes and fears here for Sag. We have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Now, Page of Swords is about learning something new here. Maybe there is a um, new opportunity, like I said, that you're trying to look into. Seven of Pentacles here. Something to do with finances or work. Um, this could be that you're learning something new or needing to take classes or just there's the sense of research here. So I don't know if you are... Um, Maybe even just reading more, you know, there's something like that going in here, but um, also the Page of Swords is a um, communication type of card too, right? So it could be that you're trying to change the way you communicate with others and uh, something to do with improving the way you communicate is what I'm picking up here. doesn't feel like someone is trying to communicate with you. Um, I'm looking at this spread because I know some people are looking for past connections to come in, but I'll be straightforward. I mean, Sag, this is, this is for Sages that are focused on themselves and um, wanting to um, really make some big changes here. And I say that because we have the Ten of Wands and Death card here, okay? So let's see the potential outcome here for Sag. And I say potential because, you know, it hasn't happened. And you have all the power to change that. We do have Justice here, Libra Energy. Now, Justice is a card of karma, right? So I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, you know, what you've put out um, is coming back towards you, all right? And it's also a sense of balance here. So this could be a big change coming in for you. And, and I say that because, again, the Death card, the Ten of Wands, we have Justice being over here. I feel like you've chose yourself. Again, just because you chose yourself doesn't mean that things are ending in terms of relationships. You're going to attract new people. Um, and, and also just things are feeling balanced for you. So I feel like there could be, you know, we have a tower here underneath the deck. So the overall energy, again, Eight of Wands is about changes. Again, like I said, communication too, but it's a big changes here in the month of January. I don't feel as though... Um, maybe at this time frame or towards the end of December, you feel as though your energy has been kind of needing, to, like I said earlier, I'm not going to repeat it all the time, but it's like pulling yourself back here. But I feel like with this full moon and cancer that's coming in, there could be more changes, new, new, uh, a new direction here for you. And maybe that's something you don't expect. Okay. So that is what I'm picking up here. Um, let's take a look at this page of swords and see what's going on with that. For some of you guys, I'm picking up maybe, you know, maybe new opportunities, new, you know, maybe job interviews, things like that. Um, it still works out in your favor here with justice. So it looks like you, you have the options, you know what I mean? It's like, there's a sense of confidence with that King of Wands and whatever you're trying to pursue. And I feel like you're, you're the one getting, uh, having the option to make the decisions now, all right? We have the higher font with that page of swords. So this is a sense of higher learning, okay? Um, wow, look at this with the high priestess underneath too. So we have the high priest, the high priestess, um, but I feel like it's more tied towards focused on learning something new. There is a change, and I feel like you're focused more on learning what this is all about, uh, maybe even getting more in touch with your spiritual side. Um, understanding, maybe even focus like on astrology, you know, things like that. There's a sense of like leveling up in some way. And uh, I feel like that helps you into whatever direction that you're choosing to move forward in. So fit where it needs to fit here for you. But, uh, but I feel like the month of January, this energy is focused on you and there is a lot of change, a lot of movement. I feel like there's a lot of working on yourself. Um, even though you're listening to that and saying, oh, I've worked on myself, you'd be surprised how many times that happens <laughs> in our lifetime. We just keep we keep learning, right? And I feel like with the Hierophant and the Page of Swords, there is something new coming towards you or you moving towards something where you realize you need to um, focus on uh, on learning something, okay? Either way, it's, it's something something good here with that Justice card, Libra Energy. Um, let me just get three cards overall. Any other messages here for Sagittarius? And of course, I'll be coming out with some more readings, the weeklies and everything here. So, you know, of course, energy kind of changes, but this is a snapshot of your January. I feel like there's like a lot of things happening. It's just um, a lot to do with you and your career. And, and again, I just feel like in this reading, that Four of Cups, with the, you seeing this Ace of Cups energy, and the Ace of Cups was right underneath earlier. It's like because you focused on you, these doors just pop open. And it's like you need to make sure which direction you're moving. To. It's like a lot of research using your intuition here too, okay? 
Um, let's see the moon card because it is a challenge here for you. Ace of Cups. So with the moon card being your challenge and then the Ace of Cups here, this is a sense of you, um, you know, I mean, emotions are coming up, all right? I, I can't deny that. I don't know if you guys don't feel that now, but I feel like there's going to be, it could be a situation, it could be communication that comes in, it could be some sort of truth, a realization, illusions opening up, right? Um, and it, and I feel like it does open up something in regards to your heart, your heart chakra in, in a way. And, and it just, a sense of acceptance, but there's a sense of like, um, you know, it feels as though this emotions that come up to the surface again, doesn't really hurt at it as it used to in the past, but it kind of um, brings this sense of being open again. You know what I mean? So because you work through these feelings and you open yourself up again, it just something there is it was it was like you blocked yourself off from something and you've you've opened yourself up to something new. And that kind of carries into this new new energy, a new cycle, a new start could be a new connections, uh, new opportunities here. You're just opening yourself up to new possibilities. OK. And I feel like that's maybe what you need to focus on is, is what, what do you feel inside? What does make you happy, you know? And, um, and if there is things that are hurting you and, and still pain that you're trying to, you know, move away from, it's like, this is a good time to focus on that and say, you know what, you know, the past is the past and you got to move forward. You know, you can't really hold back on things because this 2023 year for you is going to be something where you can make a big change, right? So you don't wanna, you want to, you don't want to, keep any emotions that are deep down inside you want to bring up to the surface and deal with them now okay let's get three cards overall now for sag three cards for sag and if this resonates or helps in any way please do hit that like button leave a comment if you would like um nine of wands is coming up we do have the emperor it doesn't matter the gender here but it does it does feel like you're you are um moving into something new here and, and we're talking about new connections we have the two of cups being over there let me get one card in the two of cups i just saw the knight of pentacles underneath too the nine of cups here so i feel as though you know the additional messages that i'm getting for you sag is that yeah there's a new beginning i feel like you're stepping into your power in some way here the nine of wands is like i've learned a lot i've been through quite a bit here um you are there's new connections as an opportunity for you um it doesn't mean that just because a connection comes in you have that's your person right but it does feel like blessings are coming towards you here things that you've been wanting so it's like again you needing to open yourself up to it here and there's a new beginning the full okay now we we see we always say the new beginning our journey started you Know, maybe some of you guys are like, ah, oh, it started last year, right? Um, but know that this this full card is just, it could be a new idea. This could be a new person coming in. It could be a new relationship that you want to start. It could be a new new business idea that you want to start. It could be you taking a class. Whatever it is, doesn't mean that you're actually moving from one location to another location. For some of you guys, maybe you are thinking about traveling or moving away from your, you know, normal area or normal area but your current situation to a new situation because sometimes for some of us you know moving to a new environment is a brand new beginning right so uh, but a lot of changes a lot of good changes a lot of positive changes here a lot of learning and uh and loving yourself uh but it's it's, it's about opening up you know I, I feel like that's going to really bring in these nine of cups type of energy new connections here okay and i feel like also you know with the emperor and the nine of wands it's like um a sense of being, uh, even with the higher font here, a sense of teaching other people in a way here. So a lot of you guys could be helping others, okay? So anyway, um, that is what I got for you. The Knight of Swords, again, fast energy. It is in your power here. It's like you do want to jump forward really quick, but I feel like with the Moon card, it's kind of set, setting up um, a sense of balance here, saying for you to really think through and do research before making a decision, I think is what's coming up here for you. All right, Sage, that is your reading. Um, and um, like I said, I'll come out with some more videos. And until next time, we'll see you guys have a good one.